are here with Claire Caldwell, a recent OSU graduate, and we've asked her to evaluate some of these uh, consumer moisture probes that you might find at your local garden center. So Claire, thank you for doing Hello. this. Thank you. Oh, you're and welcome. For, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for being on the show with us. Tell us what you kind of found with all of these. So all of them kind of operate similarly in which you'll stick them down in the soil, um, wait about five minutes and then collect your reading. But each meter kind of differs on the instructions. So the user will have to refer to the packaging and be sure how long they're putting them in the soil to get before getting their reading, um, if they need to calibrate it beforehand, things like that. Okay, so let's talk about the ones that you maybe liked and the ones that were a little more complicated. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of have them in ranking here. This one, um, the X-Lux moisture meter, it's very straightforward. It only measures moisture. Okay. And so it's very, very easy to read. Just the one probe. It's pretty small and straightforward. You just, you know, insert it into the soil, collect your reading about five minutes later, um, and make sure you clean it in between uses. Okay. All right. So that there's no moist soil mm -hmm. staying on there. All right. Any so, oils or... So because it is only a moisture meter, it's a little mm -hmm. bit more straightforward. Mm -hmm. Some of these, uh, like this one, I see it's got three probes. Mm -hmm. um, tell me, and it says four-way. This is the four-way analyzer, so it measures fertility, light, moisture, and pH. So one thing with this that I've learned is make sure it's on the correct setting because <laughs> I was measuring pH for a while and wondering why the needle was being a little weird. Okay. But it still is pretty easy to read. It's still user-friendly, just as long as you have it on the right setting. And I like this one because it's compact and small. Okay. So, but maybe not going to be able to go maybe down not as to go deep in the soil profile. Yeah, super deep in the, to the soil profile, like you said. Okay, all right. And it, but it, yeah, you're right. It is very lightweight, easy to carry mm -hmm. out somewhere, um, and that's the light meter. Now we didn't necessarily measure the nutrient or the light meter mm -hmm. aspects, just the moisture. Just meter. moisture. Yeah. And this one here is also a three-way. It says. Mm -hmm. They all are, operate pretty similarly. I would say this one and this one and this one really are all kind of the same. It's kind of hard to rank them because they all do like very well. They're all pretty, pretty easy, easy to read. Okay. Um, this one does differ a little bit. Um, so you, this one is the first one out of all these that you actually have to calibrate yourself. So as long as you have um, a screwdriver small enough to fit inside, you can turn this screw to make sure the needle is at a five or an ideal moisture that you need for your plant. So as long as you know what your ideal moisture is, calibrate it to that setting and then you're ready to use it. Okay, all right. And it's also very easy to read and it only measures moisture as well. Okay, and with a, l a longer probe, you can go deeper, probably deeper more into the soil. Out, outside. Outdoor use. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And the next couple? So this one is a little bit more tricky. I wasn't the biggest fan of this one. You have to insert it into the soil multiple different times to kind of get an average reading, take it out, clean it, and then you have to use this um, needle. I want you to press on this. It was a little bit more confusing, a little more <laughs> tricky, so I was kind of like, oh, that's not my favorite, and you have to leave it in the soil a lot longer. Okay. Um, a lot of them recommend you don't leave it in longer than 10 minutes, but this one was kind of right at 10 minutes. Okay. Um, and then this one, I wanted to like, because it kind of just goes along with these ones, it's easy, they all kind of look the same, but we found this one was kind of a dud, not really measuring, um, accurately so okay all mm -hmm. right so <laughs> at least all of these kind of gave us a little bit more of an accurate yes. reading um, and a lot of versatility with the probe length and the other features mm -hmm. that it offers too um, were the ones that had more functions were they more expensive than the other ones or can you talk so, about pricing a little bit this one i believe was our most expensive along with this one and so with this one i was like it has all this extra stuff it's i think over 50 dollars i was kind of like I think ones like these where they're just as accurate and cheaper and more straightforward, I kind of want to go for those. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, I know sometimes, you know, as a horticulturist, I can get really nerdy about these things. So I appreciate you kind of for taking sure. that consumer <laughs> approach to these and mm -hmm. just saying which one seemed to be the most user, user friendly. friendly. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And also, you know, sometimes these meters can be a little bit trickier to read if they, you know, you mm -hmm. get older, it's harder for me to see things. Need your readers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for sharing thank you. this with us. Claire. For sure. Thanks. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. 
and join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.